So we'll continue with Proverbs 7. And uh, <laughs> yesterday we looked at verse 3. We're mm. going to verse 4 today of uh, Proverbs 7. And it says, say to wisdom, mm. you know, say to wisdom, you are my sister. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's just saying, make wisdom your sister. Make wisdom mm. close to you. You know, pretty much continuing from, um, and wisdom here is typified by the word of God, right? So the, as, as uh, the, the, the word of God is our wisdom. Jesus has been made unto us wisdom, right? So he's saying the wisdom that we receive from the word of God, he's saying, say to it that is my sister. He's saying, be close to wisdom. Don't let wisdom be far from you. You know, it's going flowing from Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7, which says, wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. You know, the funny thing, why it's going to be funny on Judgment Day, you know, we're, we're all going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ is that everything that we need to do is plain in black and white in the Bible. Mm -hmm. When we miss it, it is plain. Mm -hmm. it, 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 working with God is not difficult. It is there in black and white. What we are supposed to do is in black and white. Mm -hmm. God is... Everywhere around us, his wisdom mm. is everywhere around us. It's written, the, you know, Pro, Romans one. God, Bible says that you know the invisible qualities of Him is, is seen in the things that we are created that we can see. We can see God in the visible things. Yes, God is invisible, mm. but we see God in the visible things That's right. that stand against us in judgment. When we then begin to say, "Oh, I don't know that God is," oh, oh. <laughs> we can see Him. We can see Him in the things that are seen. Also, we can see his wisdom, his handwriting, his instruction in the things that are visible. Wisdom of God is written all over us. Even without the Bible, his wisdom is all around us. We can see his handwriting in nature. The way he has created, he has, he has created things all around us. The way he has created us also is his wisdom, is his handwriting in our life. The Bible is saying, let's be close to all of this. Because it is our life. Make it our sister. Don't be far away from it. You know what? The problem with us human beings is this. We, our emotion always has the better of us. Right? We are prisoners. We are, we, we, we are victims of our emotions. Because we always tend to want to do the things we feel like. Mm -hmm. Before we think about the things that we think of. Mm -hmm. And where it 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 could be a weakness, it could be a strength in us. Mm -hmm. We don't feel like it, so we used to even like before we say, hey, "I don't feel like it." The Holy Spirit is not telling me because I don't feel like it. We feel that's the Holy Spirit telling us, but the Holy Spirit is not a feeling <laughs> because I don't mm -hmm. feel like it. Doesn't necessarily mean that's the Holy Spirit talking to me because it's not a feeling. <laughs> my feeling does not tell me what the Holy Ghost is saying or not. That's why I have to judge my feeling by the word of God. Because sometimes I feel like, and what I feel like might be against the word of God. And that is very easy for us because we are sexual beings. A lot of times we feel like doing stupid things. <laughs> as far as our emotions are concerned, it is okay. We feel like it. <laughs> Doesn't make it right. Sometimes in, in the moment, what we, it seems like we cannot do without is something that damns us for life. Just one small mistake, one second error, one second touching that thing or saying that thing, and we are damned for life. Nobody looks at it that it was a small error. They see it as definition of who we are. Because in that moment, it, it feels like it feels like it's okay. It feels like it's okay. <laughs> it feels like doesn't mean that it's okay. Let's pray. You know, still looking at Proverbs chapter 7, and we're looking at verse 4. Mm -hmm. I was saying, make wisdom your sister. Let, don't let wisdom be far from you. Don't let wisdom be far from you. A lot of people are going to go to hell because of emotion. A lot of people are going to hell because of emotion. A lot of people are going to hell because of emotion. And hell both in the temporal realm and in the spiritual realm. Their emotions get the better of them. They, they 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 pray because they only feel like praying. <laughs> We're supposed to pray in season and out of season, whether I feel like or I don't feel like. I don't pray to check the box. I pray to to as a 
as one a spiritual exercise. It's part of my godliness work to pray. It's part of my communication with God. It's part of my abiding in Him. Christ says, if you don't abide in me, you without me, you can do nothing. When I pray, I'm abiding in him. I'm spending time in fellowship with him. I'm as it were, I'm breathing the hair of heaven. I'm touching God. I'm rubbing my heart with God's heart so that I can become more like him. Those are the reasons I pray. It's not just because I, I they, my pastor told me to pray. It's not because I want to tell everybody I'm a prayer warrior. Not because if I don't pray, I'm feeling somehow. There's a reason why I pray. And when I pray, I must get those reasons. I must get those reasons. Right? That's what wisdom says. That's what wisdom says. I don't pray because of pressure. Whether I have pressure or I don't have pressure, I pray. I pray to commune with God. I pray to have fellowship with God. I pray because I am a child of God. And a child must speak to the Father. Right? Not because of my emotions. Not because I'm scared. Not because I'm happy. Whether I'm scared or I'm happy, I will pray, right? Whether I'm frightful or not, I will pray. And when I come to pray, I come to pray as a place of refuge, as a place of resource where I get resolution to my problems. I don't just pray for the sake of praying. I come to get solution to my problem. I come to get solution to my problem. Luke um, 8. Is it 8 or 18 now? Jesus, 8 or 18. Jesus Christ says, I said this parable to the intent that men ought always to pray. Always to pray and not to give up. Jesus in that place tells us that the, the, the effect of not praying is to give up. So if I'm not going to give up, I must pray. If I pray, I should not give up. But if I people that are praying and are giving up at the same time, because they are not praying, they're just making noise. They're just doing a religious observation. When I pray, I don't give up. Because when I pray, I get strength. I get, I get nourishment. I touch the father. The father touches me. The father comforts me. The father, the, the father tells me it's okay. The storm will pass. It's just for a season. It's just for a season. There's something I want you to come out from, from the storm for. The storm did not come without my approval. I approved it knowing that I, because I know you can handle it. I will see you through it. Yeah, I will make a way of escape for you so that I do not kill you. Yeah, the storm has come because I allowed it because I know you can handle it because I want to prepare you for the next season of your life. Mm -hmm. The devil will not have the better of you through the storm. I will comfort you. I will help you. I will carry you through the storm. That's mm -hmm. what I get in the place of prayer. Mm -hmm. It's not a make a noise place. It's not to make one prophet happy that someone is praying. It's not to, to get magical effect. It's to spend time with God. Right? And that's what we get when we make wisdom our sister. And it's all in the word of God. It's all in the word of God. It's in black and white. If only we'll read it to know. The Bible says, make wisdom your sister. And to make wisdom your sister, you have to make the word of God your sister. Because that's where we get the wisdom from. Right? We can read books. We can read people's experience and all of that. All of that must be judged by the word of God. The word of God is our wisdom. So if the Bible is saying, make wisdom your sister, it's saying, make your Bible your sister. Make your time with God a, 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 a prime time of your life. Don't just do it when you, <laughs> all right, have a free time. Now let's do it. No, you must prioritize it. You must make time for it. In your busy schedule, that has to be prime in your life because that's your power source. That's your power source. That's what wisdom will do. Power source. Perhaps make wisdom your sister. Make time with God your sister. Make time, make the time with this word your sister. You know, let it be close to you because it will differentiate you. To, to differentiate you will mark you out, to make you succeed. You know, and, and the next second part there it takes, it says, second part, my time is over, so I'll keep it second part for tomorrow. But 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 the other part is understanding. Right, it's close to wisdom. Understanding feeds wisdom. Feeds, wisdom helps us to understand. When we understand, we gain wisdom. Wisdom helps us to understand. They are close, they are not the same thing, but they are brothers and sisters to one another. God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Go ahead, my friend. Praise God. You said it all. No, we talk of wisdom. We are able to pray at all times. It's not because we just want to pray. It's not because we want to show off for a particular man of God that we are there. It's just because we are committing with God. We want to be his friend. 
you want to be his acquaintance, you want to have the same level of father child relationship with him. And uh, we have to report issues of life to him. Those are the reasons why we pray. And we want him to crown everything up as a leader that we look up, up to. We pray the grace to pray and make a difference in our generation. We continue to mind us up in Jesus' name. When we pray, we will not be carried away with what we are praying for. We pray according to God's will and expectation. As promised, we do as expected. And as the grace of God will wait for in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 He's faithful. God is faithful. God is looking for his own faithfulness. God is faithful. All, is, all he wants is our faithfulness. His faithfulness is a constant. As <laughs> the variable. When we're faithful like him, miracles occur. When we, when we allow our faithfulness to meet his faithfulness, miracles occur. And he wants to do miracles in our life every day, every moment. All we need to do is just be faithful. So make wisdom our sister and let wisdom dictate our part. It, it helps us to be faithful. We understand that it's important to be faithful, that the, that the faithfulness that I bring to the faithfulness of God covers the whole of my life, covers those that are related with me, covers everything that concerns me. You know, God takes care of everything. You know, Jesus Christ says, without me, you can do nothing. So if there's anything I want to do in my life, when I come in faithful, and let my faithfulness meet the faithfulness of God. Everything becomes possible. Yes, and God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Wisdom will be our sister. <laughs> Wisdom will be closely related to us, closely tied to us. Wisdom Amen. will work for us the same thing it worked for God in Amen. creation. The Bible Amen. Proverbs says that wisdom was with God in creation. <laughs> yeah, in, 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 as God was created, wisdom was working with God. Wisdom Amen. wants to do the same thing in our life. Begin to order things in our life, correct things in our life, <laughs> make our lives perfect. That's what wisdom wants to do for us. If only we allow wisdom, may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, have a great remaining of today.